I hope everyone is doing well as we've moved into 2024 and I wanted to provide some updates on department activity, some of the effects on each of you. We have entered the fiscal year 2025 budget cycle that begins July 1. And the fire chief has made several requests and they include Ladder 20. This is a new company and we're not looking to relocate either Ladder 24 or Ladder 26. Battalion 9. That'll be three new battalion chiefs along with six relief captains. From the station construction, we have several major projects in the works. Station 44, the River District, may be open in April or May. Chief Winkles is finalizing land pieces with Crescent Construction. Ladder 39 will go in service in June and will include three captains and three new engineers. Station 2 will have a major renovation that will start in late spring. Ladder 2 will have to be relocated and we're looking to put it at Station 43, but that's not finalized yet. Station 30 will have construction and Station 11 will begin demo also in the late spring. Rescue 11 will be moved to Station 1 and Engine 11 will be moved to Station 4 during Station 11's con new construction. And lastly, Station 45. Ladder 45 will open in the early fall and this is the new station at North Tryon Street near Roar Road. As you can see, we have lots of projects in the works. I've asked the BCs to ensure that all ladder companies have smoothbore nozzles on the aerial devices. We're working on getting smoothbores for the Mercury nozzles for all the engine companies. I believe these options set us up for better offensive operations. We're in the process of completing the Liberty Row AAR also. This is three parts, operations, the Rick and the May Day, and the communications. Two of those three pieces are completed, and once that last piece is done, hopefully in the beginning of February, we'll get that report out to the entire department. And lastly, we've had several fires and calls since Christmas the crews have done great work on and exemplify what I believe really is our mission. Started with a second alarm in the 2100 block of North Tryon Street. Firefighter Jay Kendrick was riding as the acting officer, did an excellent job on his radio report and setting that stage for when Chief Guerin arrived and took the role of the IC. It was followed up by Captain Zach Gordon as first due and Chief Beatty as the IC and lots of other companies at Golden Green Hotel on the December 30th. Man, what a great job by everybody, especially that first alarm. We had multiple victims, heavy smoke conditions in the hallway, and fire vented from that third floor. They really kicked it in the butt. With that, it was expressed during my last video, and to the BCs, that I expect companies to lay supply lines when there's the probability you're arriving at a fire. Laying in dry is great, and it keeps your company together, but we've got to have water. A couple great examples recently are Engine 35 and Captain Vanderkolt just after New Year's, and Engine 32 and Captain Alex Gordon this past weekend. Both captains verbalized what hydrogen they were catching and the second due engine that hooked tight to it. In addition, several people were shot during the New Year's Eve celebration at Ramirez Bearden Park. It required its own box alarm as well as the ATVs from the event that showed just our dedication to the mission to the citizens of the city. As we adjust to the new medic configuration, if your company experiences challenges, in addition to sending an email, please work with the BCs to push questions to the on-duty medic supervisors. This has happened several times and your answers are getting back to you much quicker. But we are also working on the larger issue. I said in my earlier video that I'd do my best to keep you informed. And each month, we meet with the battalion chiefs and we pass on information. If you have questions, ask them. Send them up. We'll answer them as best we can. Thank you so much for all your dedication to what we do and please stay safe out there.